gathered together from the cosmic reaches of the universe, here in this great hall of justice, are the most powerful forces of good ever assembled. Dedicated to truth, justice, and peace for all mankind. Welcome everybody, it's Rack Rack in the House. I'm here with my man Speedy, and we're talking about Body Bags. One of the most controversial comics that came out. <laughs> Who was the author? Uh, it was um, Jason Pearson. Jason Pearson. So my boy Petey's going to go down and give you a breakdown, a little overview of what it is and about what's been happening with it lately. Okay, so it's the 90s. You had Image Comics. Image Comics basically, no, basically made a coup of saying getting all these like-minded creators together and they come up with their own universe of comics. And then there was reactions after that. The second reaction was called Legends, which was Frank Miller, Byrne, and a few other classic Marvel artists from the 80s. Then you had the next movement was Bravora, Bravora, which was actually some of the artists from the 70s and from the 80s and 90s. And then next we had Blank Noir. And this was Jason Pearson, Adam Hughes from the, the, the classic cover artists, Joe Phillips, Brian Steelfries, who also was doing, um, he was working on... Um, Black Panther recently, and Cully Hammer, who's done Red, and Batman Tenses, and a bunch of stuff. But the first from Blank Noir from Dark Horse was Body Bags. Now, Body Bags was actually um, a four-part story. Um, Jason Pearson did a, a sex and violence thing for it. Was it sex and violence? Uh, but he did a miniseries for Savage Dragon, and then he, because he would wrote that, and then he wrote this four-parter, which is basically about... Mac, who's, who's also named Clownface, and he's um, the head bounty hunter who's from Terminus, Atlanta, and he, his daughter comes into town, and she wants to join the, join the um, she wants to become a bounty hunter also. And he doesn't really think she should be it, but she has all the skills and all the talent, but it's a very rough comic. It's a, you know, a lot of violence, a lot of fun, a lot of humor into it, but at the same time, it's slowly Panda becoming her own as a bounty hunter and, and clown face dealing with this. So the, after the first miniseries didn't set off any big things, you know, nothing really happened with it. It did get a, he did get to do a backup that was in Dark Horse Presents. Then 12 Gauge Comics, they made their own sort of imprint that was in Image. They reprinted Body Bags where Jason Pearson did a couple other one shots. There's a Kickstarter that he's still working on right now, but and he did, like, what was it? He called it Three Bs of different short stories about body bags. All with image. Um, that, well, this one, it was, I'm not sure it was going to be image. It was going to be a Kickstarter, but the other stuff was with image, yeah. The, but it was bought, you know, it was actually licensed for a movie, which is going to be called, I think it's going to be <coughs> called Dogtown. It's actually going to have from um, Guardians of the Galaxy, who played um, Batista. Oh, yeah? Dave Batista is going to be. Clown face, and I was thinking two seconds before, and I was like, "Who are they gonna get the like? He's too huge, just too <laughs> ridiculous. He's got eyes that are as big as us. Who's gonna play him?" Batista's the Batista's right guy. the perfect guy. So I don't know who's who's gonna be um, Panda, but right now the closest would be, even though they're older, because Panda is like thirteen. The closest would be one of the Westbrook sisters. It could be India or it could be her sister. Oh, come on. They're not going to use them. Why not? <laughs> they, that, that's, what they, that's what the look is. It's the look. They're not using them. Those girls are Instagram. You know, not not. Um, it's a not fun. Actors. They were on they were on a live action reality show, the Westbrooks. Yeah, but they're and not. And not Russell Westbrook, the Westbrooks. Not going to be on this show. I'm saying this is your template. Find an actress like that, or it'll be Karuchi Tran, who isn't top heavy, but I think Karuchi Tran. She's in the show right now. Claw. 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 So I think it could work. You could use. If you want an actress, she's very good in the show. I I think it would work. It does not exactly panda, but it's it's, it's close enough for me. Okay. I don't know if that's going to work either. Why are you saying that? She's an actress. She's good. Do you watch Claws? I, I, I saw Claws. I'm not going to mention it on, on TV. I just did. I just did. Just do, voice is cracking. <laughs> what is voice cracking for? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I am but I'm certainly... Saying, this I, is, I, no. Do you, they're going. Listen, kick-ass, 
Kick-Ass came out with Big Daddy and Hit Girl. This is the first Big Daddy and Hit Girl. Yes. Underage on. girl. What's the name? Huge, huge monster size villain. You know, you know, guy who takes the matters in his own hands. Well, what I are we gonna say? I can't remember the name of the actress, and she played in um, in Agents of Shield. She was in this last season where she was. Uh, she's a, she had powers where she was trying to become like the destroyer of worlds. But she's also in a Disney show. I think it's, she's in um, mm -hmm. something Descendants. Okay. Right? She's the main actress in Descendants. I think she would make an excellent. Um, Panda. Panda. And I think that would work out a little bit. Okay. Because she showed her crazy side in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, me, platinum blonde, nutcase side. So well, she's not, the panda's not a nutcase yet. You know, she's just sort of Did a, you see Panda? <laughs> 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 she, comes, she becomes one. You know? It's not called body bags for nothing. <laughs> But it's and also and changing, the, and changing the name to Dogtown. Like, I don't it's know. It's not the same. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't give you the same like. I don't. It's like body bags. You're like, what? You know what they're doing? Dogtown is like, ah, you know. Not and quite they, I mean, you could go body baggers. You could do yeah. anything, but the Dogtown. Even the art, the writer, writer artist, artist writer, was, had you know said something about it. But you know, we're getting more body bags. We'll get the Kickstarter. I'm happy. This is what I mean. He's a, and he's a very strong storyteller. He's very in much in mind of what he, you know, what came from Image. But he was always a strong storyteller, and that's what, you know, made this book. And he has a, you know, a very cult, very very cult following. So that doesn't mean huge success. I mean, but the fans are small prints of comic books. <laughs> <laughs> small small prints. You know, we're not talking about hundred thousand. We're talking about within well, the nineties. Hundred thousand was considered a pretty big. A big yeah.